October is here, and as the days get shorter and the evenings cooler, a great way to relax is to do some pocket scrapbooking. And that's what we're going to do today with some 4 by 6 and 3 by 4 photos with Stampin' Up's 6 by 8 album and pocket pages. There are plenty of photo opportunities coming up from Thanksgiving, Halloween, and fall colors. Hi, my name is Amanda Farlinger. I'm with um, From Where I Stamp near Kingston, Ontario, Canada. And um, I help busy women scrapbook their memories using stamps, ink, and paper. So today we are going to look back at Thanksgiving 2015, where like, if you follow, if we're friends on Facebook, or if you've seen some recent photos of Griffin, um, he's all brown here. Like he, there's no white on him. I saw this photo and I'm like, wow, so much has changed. Um, and of course we have the turkey basting in the oven and the geese flying by. And um, there's not really great color, but um, that's one of the photos I like to take. And then of course, at the end of the day, full of turkey, lots of gobble gobble, you know, pass it. That's what we all do, right? So Thanksgiving is this weekend coming up in Canada. And um, I'm looking forward to coconut pie. Probably not going to have turkey this weekend, um, <laughs> but a three-day weekend as well. And a good quick way to save your memories is by using pocket pages. So I'm going to use these ones here. I'll show them a little bit better here in just a moment, but um, you can purchase a six by eight album. So this one here, and it has a little tag at the on the binding so you can write the year or if you want to put all your thanksgivings together or um i'm gonna do one up maybe for december kind of like a uh, daily december or hello december kind of um album so then in a pack of pocket pages you have different like these are probably one and a half packs or something around that two packs of of um, pocket pages. And so you have different sizes. So let's see, this one here is four by six and two three by fours. This one here is two three by fours with a four by six at the bottom. So you can see they're similar, just laid out differently. And we're going to use this gorgeous All About Autumn designer series paper. Now I'll let you know that if you haven't purchased it yet, it is going to be available the week of October 9th. So it has been very popular. And um, if it's something that you want to purchase, the link for the products I'll use today will be in the description below. And so you'll want to uh, either keep an eye on that or let me know you're looking for it if you're in Canada and I can help you out and keep an eye on it as well. Okay, so pocket pages, easy peasy. The hard part can be deciding what photos go where. So I'm just gonna lay out the photos. And that's my favorite thing to do. I love starting my scrapbook pages with photos. So this is at my parents' place. So we're just going to slide Griffin right in there. So I'm doing it this way. So if I had something else happening, like this first week of September or something in the garden or something like that, I could put the photos on this side. And then I have facing pages together. And then I'll have one more page here to finish off the day. And then the next page will be going to my in-laws. So we went to my in-laws the following day. The I can't remember what the love of was a Saturday or a Sunday. Not that it matters anymore. <laughs> but um, are there certain photos that you like to take each time? Because um, I'll take pictures of the dogs. I take pictures of the dogs all the time. But um, maybe what you had for dinner or maybe what the, the table looks like. Um, so there's lots of different ways or lots of different photos you could take, but I'd love to know if you take a certain photo every year. Maybe it's a family photo so you can tell what everyone looked like each year or how young the kids were or um, how gray people were <laughs> or how gray people have gotten over the years. You know, it just depends. Um, but we are going to use that paper and it's in the All About Autumn suite. Now, I didn't purchase the coordinating stamps and dies. Uh, I thought about it. It's gorgeous leaves. But I decided instead to go for the pick of the patch stamp set. Now, this does have a coordinating pumpkin, um, not dies, a punch. Um, pumpkin punch, if I can think of that word. Um, 
that you can use, but it will, I think, did I fussy cut those leaves for no reason whatsoever? Am I being silly? Where's my pick up the patch? Well, one of them. Okay. I don't feel too bad. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, prepping for the video. And I'm like, oh, I have to fussy cut out these leaves because no one wants to watch me fussy cut out these leaves. So here are the leaves, some of them that I cut out and I could have punched this one out. Oh, well, now we all know, use the punch next time. And when you buy the punch and the stamp set together, you save the 10%, which is the bundle price. And these, if they do carry over, won't be bundled anymore. So even if some products carry over to a later catalog, you won't be able to get that bundled price. All right, so now the fun begins. Picking from this beautiful pack of paper, and you can choose any pack of paper. You could, in the back of the catalog, which I'll have a link down below. So in the back of the catalog, it shows all the designer paper. And you can pop onto my online store as well. So if you wanted to go, there's my mouse. If you want to go to shop.fromwhereistamp.ca, that's where you can purchase any products if you live in Canada. And that will um, have me selected as a demonstrator. So you can put your order in and ship it to you and get ready for your, your fall crafting, your Christmas, your Thanksgiving, or Halloween's even coming up. So um, all of this paper, you can choose a different style or wait until the All About Autumn paper comes back in stock next week. All right, so the one, where'd it go? The other stamp set that I used was Biggest Wish. And I love this stamp set. And even though the Pick Up the Patch does have a Harvest of Blessings, I, or thanks so much, it didn't quite fit what I wanted to do. And so I made this three by four card using the thanks out of here, this thanks, and I just stamped it multiple times. It did get stained, but that's okay. A stained stamp still stamps beautifully. So we have, these are the colors. Oops, I can pick them up. Here's our colors that are from that designer paper. Designer paper is one of my favorite products because the colors are listed right on the pack of designer paper for you. So we have copper clay, moody mauve, mossy meadow, and Cajun craze. So that was my inspiration for this layout or pocket pages, whichever way you want to call them. So that's why I chose Mossy Meadow, to have it really pop. You could also cut this out. Um, so you have like a little banner um, to step it up if you wanted. You could layer this, like trim this down a little bit and put it on some of the gold foil paper. Isn't that gorgeous paper? I just love foil paper. Um, but I'm just keeping it kind of simple-ish. And actually, no, I'm not. Sorry. Can I use some of those leaves I cut out? Oh, did I? I thought I had more leaves than this. I did. Well, I guess we'll have to punch some. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, you could use, if I grab my, excuse my arm, <laughs> Tombow Multi Liquid Glue. But for small little leaves like this, using the mini glue dots to glue your leaves down, I'm going to have to punch more. Maybe. We'll see. And, oh wait, I didn't want to do that one. There we go. Okay. So if we have, come on, come off the leaf or come off the thing. Okay. So I'm going to put a green one right here. And then I have these little dimensionals. So we have our mini, oops, mini dimensionals. Then I'm going to put on the back of this bigger leaf just to pop it up a little bit. And I love adding dimension to my projects. And it works inside the pocket pages as well as on like a normal, what I would call a normal 12 by 12. And then we're going to add some brush metallic in kind of this coppery color. Let's do down here. 
that one there, that one there. I think I'll take a big one. What do I want to put here? Let's put it there. So we'll just cluster those around. And generally I'll end up using more embellishments on a three by four because I find it's a little bit easier sometimes for me to decorate this small spot rather than a big 12 by 12 page. Sometimes a 12 by 12 page is a little overwhelming, but then when you get down to just the pockets, you can look at, okay, just this piece. It's six by eight roughly, and I only need to decorate a three by four pocket. Um, so it can be easier to do. Now this all about autumn paper has the um, copper foil designs on one side, and then it has these gorgeous fall designs on the other side. So what we're going to do, we're going to trim this down because it's six by six. And one thing I'll do before, if, if I don't have anything through, or if I do have another card or photo or something put in there already, I'll take it out, excuse me, and then I can look through the plastic on where I want that path to show up. So whether I want little, oh, is that people in there? Looks like people on the path. Um, or if I want just these trees or maybe the orange trees, um, that wouldn't be too bad. But I was thinking of the path of walking through the forest. So I think we're going to take off a little bit on the side. So once you get your, your kind of eyeball, then you can have a peek here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna cut it three inches. And the nice part is you can either reuse these pieces or because they have that copper on the other side, you can use these for strips and um, little pieces of designer series paper um, works to fill three by four or four by six. If you're just, um, decorating a little pocket, then that's all you need. It's just some strips of paper. So now we're just going to do this. Save these little pieces. And now, when I put this in my pocket, because it's double sided paper, I'll just slide that in there. So now we have this nice autumn scene to go with all the geese flying by because there's a lot of geese flying overhead um, on Thanksgiving. And then the trees here, so they weren't, they didn't co change color too much that on October 11th. And then I have this, um, I guess this is copper, copper clay color with the copper, copper foil. I was worried I was saying copper too much. So then for some journaling on this last page, so you could add some journaling here, but I felt like this was kind of my title. So thanks. Um, to talk about Thanksgiving. And I might come back and write um, maybe on here, put a little piece of very vanilla because that's one of the, the colors. Or maybe I'll use some Moody Mauve over here just to tie it all together um, and just say Thanksgiving 2015 here. But it's also going to be said back here. So to fill in this last piece behind the photo, I've cut out a piece of mossy meadow copper design and then the other side is these overshot or overhead shot of the leaves we have a piece of mossy meadow cardstock to go to kind of break up the design a little bit and then we have um, my journaling so you got to make sure to add your journaling come on glue Then this way it has a little bit of a layer to break up that copper piece. And this here. And we'll just slide this. Come on. Slide that. It's a little tight. Sometimes the pockets aren't quite three by four. They're a little bit tighter depending, but uh, we're going to decorate this piece actually. Did I, where did it go? All right, so we have this. 
And I don't know if I want... Let's do some stamping, because I haven't done any stamping on video yet. And then we'll use our, our punch. We'll do a green leaf. Because there's a lot of orange. Alright, so a little leaf with a little block is all we need. And as a reminder, the products used for these pocket pages will be below. And because I'm going to be punching this, I want to look at how it looks. So if we do this, I'm going to stamp twice. I love sharing these videos each week with you. If you, like me, have a very stressful job, day job, and make sure to tune in and sit with me and we'll craft together each week. Every week I put up a video on Thursdays and uh, we craft, we, we scrapbook. So it'd be great if you could join me next week and we'll do some more autumn because it's October and we'll do some more autumn crafting. And also it started October 3rd until October 31st. Stampin' Up! is having a starter kit special. So it's their 35th anniversary. So they've been around for 35 years. And the offer is you purchase the starter kit for either 35% off or you can have 35% more products. So either, I'm just going to put this away, either uh, $165 a product for $87.75. This is all Canadian. Or you can choose, select $222 and uh, $0.75 Canadian for only $135. That's our Moody Mob. I kind of like it. So we're just going to use it as a space to hold the leaves. That's all. But if purchasing some of this product at a discount sounds like a grand idea, then you'll want to uh, purchase the starter kit. Oops, where'd my... It's empty. Oh, right there. That's what I get for not putting stuff back. All right, so we have this one here. And I guess I could have stamped the, is it too late? Can I pull it up? I can cover it back up later. Okay, changing directions. Now, what do I have? It's already glued down, but let's see if copper clay will look enough like bark I didn't pull black over black ink. Okay. And I'm probably going to get ink on my table, but that's all right because it's easy to clean up. This is water-based ink, so it is something that you can clean or um, tidy up any ink you get on your work surface. Okay. Now, I probably need a new glue dot or not. I'll just put another one right on top, or I'll just use a different leaf. Come on, get off my finger. There we go. So it's going to be a little creative here. I should have moved that back a little bit, but that's okay. We may have to punch some more leaves in the right colors. And the, oh, come on. it's always good to rip off this little protective part too every once in a while. There we go, something like that. So we just need one more. So where's my... Oh, I guess I used it all. Okay, I need more vanilla. That's just fine because in my craft room, I have these filing cabinets 
full of paper of our of our cardstock. Okay, we're gonna do copper clay again. Oops. See, I dropped it in the copper clay and it rolled across my desk. Easy peasy cleanup. So I'm just gonna do this. Clean that up. And this is also something you can take pocket pages on the road a lot easier than 12 by 12 scrapbooks because you're just plopping photos in. So you could take it on, so say if you're like me and you travel to in-laws, so you have a two hour one way trip, you can slide in photos during your trip or, um, or even if you don't want to take that, you can even work on editing your photos during your trip. I've done that before lots of times because we need to print the photos. All right. Hoping, hoping I didn't put that in upside down. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? I do this and then this is upside down. All right. Now we're just going to slide this in like so. So now here we have, oh, I didn't put any more baubles. Okay. We'll put baubles on on, no, I won't put bobbles because I was going to put on the green one, but that was kind of hard to, to slide into the, into the pocket. Okay. So here is Thanksgiving from 2015 and, um, all the products will be listed down below on the link to my blog. And if you would like to purchase, uh, pro stampin' up products from me, then you can go to, uh, shop from dot from where I stamp dot CA or visit my blog post, which will have a link to this supply list for this project. And then you can purchase that and get ready for your crafting and think about those photos that you want to take this weekend. So if you're a Canadian like me and celebrating Thanksgiving, um, are you going to make coconut cream pie? Are you going to make pumpkin pie or who in your family likes one or the other? And then you can remember, write that down in a note app or something. So that way, when you go to scrapbook it later, you can remember and you have your photos. So maybe you have uh, two plates with a uh, pie on them and you can say, okay, half of us like pumpkin and half of us like uh, coconut cream pie. I don't know like why people like coconut or why people like pumpkin pie. It's not for me, but I love coconut cream pie. <laughs> so we'll see you next week and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>